Alina Vincent, an art historian and curator based currently in Goa. I thank the Hebar Gallery and Arts Center for inviting me to be part of this program. I had the opportunity to assist Ms. Rajini Prasanna, Ms. Rekha Rao, during their curation of Artist's Quest, a retrospective of KK Hebar that took place in 2011 at the National Gallery of Modern Art, which went on to show in several different cities in India. While my studies in art history did introduce me to K.K. Hebar's work to a small extent, it was in fact during this exhibition that I truly understood the vastness of K.K. Hebar's repertoire as well as the prominence of his contributions to Indian art. It is the kind of work that draws one in slowly. His portraits, line drawings, watercolors, tempera paintings, as well as the incredibly diverse canvas works, all reflect a very intrinsic language that he developed and that was purely his own. His art was an amalgamation of his deep engagement with dance and music, with literature and folklore, with his own roots and his ancestry, as well as his friendships and his social life. While he was prolific in doing more academically oriented portraits, human forms, landscapes and others. His personal vision was oriented towards symbolic representations and more organic articulation of narratives. Looking at some of his paintings like The Birth of Bangladesh or The Ritual, a painting that I was deeply impacted and deeply inspired by, uh, one, can, one can see a, a very distinctive and expressive use of space and color and also line. Every dab of impasto paint that he applied uh, or every line that he drew appeared to develop a kind of meaning on its own and uh, a work called The Pull, which, which almost, almost moved towards abstraction uh, in their textural quality, where the forms actually subtly meld into each other and into a background. It is like he set out to depict the core essence of these atmospheres or objects or structures and not their external qualities as it were. One does feel a very emotional response to them. The innate poetry of his works is also extremely palpable in his line drawings, the singing lines of course. I also recall the number of fluid sketches he has done of all the places he visited and the ones that I remember uh, from the exhibition are of course the ones from Warsaw and Europe that he had travelled I think during the, the 50s and the 60s. It's wonderful and inspiring that KK Habar's legacy continues and that so many of his paintings and particularly the large co collection of portraits are to be seen in the gallery at Manipal.